Okay, hey, welcome back to another episode of Halo Infinite Campaign, our second and a half or so playthrough of this. Obviously, we played it way back when it first came out a couple years ago, and then haven't really touched it much since. Played, did like a half playthrough, got up until about this point where we're at now, and now we're gonna now we're gonna follow the Harbinger and see where we go from here. So thank you. And the, yeah, in the last episode we met the Harbinger. We were in this uh, conservatory here, and it spit us out in front of this spire, which if we check the map is down in this area that I refused to go down earlier because I thought I remember us being naturally brought here anyway. So I think on my first playthrough, I actually came up through here and went and did a bunch of stuff in here. And then followed the mission to, you know, the excavation site, went through the mountain and everything, and then got spit out. And then none of this looked new to me because I was like, oh, I've been around here. Um, so there is a lot of hidden stuff. So we're probably going to go find some of that, and then we'll make our way to the Spire, which is technically Mission 7 on this game. So thanks for being here. I hope you've been enjoying the, the playthrough. For the few of you that have been watching, I know some people are like, dude, why are you doing this? Like, why are you playing this and posting it on here and not your gaming channel? And it's like, yeah, well, I wanted some Halo content on this channel because we're going to be talking about some of the Jazzwares toys um, if those videos aren't already up. They will be soon. Uh, I want to also talk about uh, the, you know, I want to unbox the trading cards when they come out, which they got pushed back again till like August. So, so there's a, yeah, we're we're gonna be waiting a while for for a lot of this stuff, unfortunately. Oh, hear that? I hear grunts talking. Huh. UNSC distress pulse. No response on comms. We should check it out. Harpoon squad. All right, let's do it. Gotta find some weapons. Let's grab some weapons. Because <laughs> I just realized. Ow. Yeah, we. <laughs> I was like, well, I'll make a loud entrance. And, uh. I'll make a loud entrance and then I'll. Oh, oh, oh. And then I'll deal with the, you know. Like that, uh. Little lava shooting gun I had. And I'm like, oh, wait. That only had six bullets in it. Ow, ow, ow. These guys are tough, man. Oh, that's why. There's a sniper. Wee. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha. Now I got back up. Wait, where's the other sniper? There he is. Eyes up, reinforcements. Crap. Okay. Oh, here they are. Did it. The UNSC lost so many hey. Hey. But now that you're back, All they've right. got a fighting chance at survival. Cool. Glad to be of service. Alright, heading down the mountain. We got the spire there. And we got a fob location here. So we're gonna go ahead and ambush that. Find any 
last minute secret things, and then head to the spire. Hoorah! Of course, there was a nice path that led right down here, and I just bypassed the entire thing <laughs> by jumping around, swinging like Spider-Man. Another fob platform, Chief. Claim it. I will, but where are the enemies? Is there literally no enemies here? No, they're gonna drop in probably. Ain't no way this is gonna be this easy. Sit. Shit. Okay. Whew. Is there another one? There is. Are you, dude? Bob Delta Got him. Complete. Now to claim that was it? Get me to the Just terminal. two invisible elites? Wow, that's uh... the... a... <laughs> I imagine if, if we were on Legendary, that wouldn't have been the case. So, alright. Got it. All banished controls are cleared. This fob is ours. If you're looking for a all right, now we're all the secret stuff. Worse than the peak to the north. It's one of the highest on the ring. Oh, so we okay. So we got that armor. We got that foxhound, and then there was this over here, the Mjolnir armor. So we got all the the mountain stuff. That's awesome. We found it without activating this. That's great. Um, so we just have this Pronto squad and this armor. To find. So let's go grab this real quick. Then we'll go save this team. And then we'll make our way. Let me know if you need support. I think we're good, man. I'm gonna go solo still. We're gonna head over to this side area. And uh, get this armor real quick. I thought there was more. Like I don't know why I th I thought I remembered more being on the side of this mountain. Um and up the mountain. But it looks like everything was near the top of the mountain, which, you know, that's what I was saying. Like, you know, if you if you take the time to ascend some of the mountains around here and upgrade your... You don't always need to upgrade. There's always a path that will lead up to the mountaintop for the most part, but there's some mountains that are just easier to, to do if you just have that... have the, the grapple upgraded. Sweet. That it? All right. Is that a propaganda tower? No, but it's like a... I think that's one of those prayer site type places. All right, let's reload. Okay, going up. Oh, drop pods incoming. Oh, there was a firefight. Another UNSC distress pulse. That means more Marines are in trouble. Let's give them a hand. Atriox's propaganda tower. I mean, not not a propaganda tower, but like uh, like I said, it's like a direct messages from him. I call them prayer sites, but it's a, I think it's just because they it's like a 
temple type structure and then you got like the graves of Spartans and Marines at the bottom of them. There it is. Is there a ship coming in? Yes. Where are they going? Dang it. I was hoping they were dropping off enemies here. Because I was going to blow it up. You're done. This guy won't die. They got a ship coming? Oh, they do. Dang it. Whew. Dude. Please tell me we saved you guys. No? Man, he was armored up. I think that Marine just killed that brute. this thing. Who's shooting me down here? There you go. Done. All clear, Chief. Dude, we Ready saved him. Awesome. <laughs> Man, did I time that perfectly. Oh, hi there. Good shooting, Tex. Almost got me. Looks like we're going around the back side of the spire. That's cool. I don't think I've... I don't think I went that way my first time through here. Um, I think I just ran right to it after the conservatory and... I think I did all the mountain stuff after. But I don't know. I like I like just exploring this world. Like games like this are awesome. Like Metal Gear Solid 5 was like this for me where there'd be times where I'm just running around, see some enemies, maybe I'll kill them, maybe I won't. You know, maybe I'll stealth by them, although I was never really the best at that. Um So like yeah, games where they just let you choose like, okay, yeah, there's going to be linear moments. There's definitely objectives you have to do to complete the story. But if you want to just walk around and, you know, not do much for two hours, like, feel free. I think the range on this gun is good, man. This is my... Hold on, I'm almost out of bullets for it. Uh, this is my favorite weapon in the game, uh, the, or the one I at least go to a lot. I think the Mangler, I don't know, I really like using the Mangler. Ooh. Ooh. What is up? Definitely rewarded for taking the long way. Whoa, what's back here? What? Whoa. You know, I actually forgot about 
some of these secret cave bases. Um, oh, let's get a, oh, there's a sniper. Let's get my gun back. Holy cow. Yeah, I forgot. That I th wow, I completely forgot about these. And they'll be overrun with enemies, typically. Yeah, human. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. This is great. I completely forgot about... <laughs> I love the trash talk from the grunts. Alright, so far so good. Got him. Alright, always be careful. Especially in these, like, bases that they set up shop in. Okay. So far, so good. And I think this is another route. No, okay. Just an extra we weapon, okay. Sometimes there's multiple routes inside of these places. Um, usually one or two, for sure. I mean, always one, obviously. But uh, sometimes two. Um. But yeah, see, we're like, we're... And now we've unlocked a Spartan core. There's one down here somewhere. Yeah, you might. Whew. Didn't have any bullets left either. Holy cow. Yeah, there it is. So, later in the game, when you're flying around the outside of this place, you can, um, you'll come across this. Like, so that Pelican Down Island, I think that's what's behind us here. Oh, hold on. We can up upgrade? Yeah, let's do it. Drop wall. And thrusters. Cool. Um, so, yeah, we're facing the Pelican Down Island. So, there is a point in the game where you can get, like, banshees and stuff. And you'll see from over there this room. Um... And actually, I think that's how I got here the first time, was I was on the Pelican side. I... I grabbed a banshee, flew over here, did this, ran through this whole cave. I went backwards through it. Um, and uh, and when I came out on the other side, um, I was like, oh, crap, I'm, I'm back over by the spire. <laughs> yeah, but I forgot about this. Now that I'm walking through it again, though, I'm like, yeah, okay. These are cool, and there's a couple of them throughout the game that'll hide, like, Spartan cores and... Other things, armor that you can um, you can find and collect. All right, let's go back out. Let's enough dilly dallying. Let's get to that spire. Hopefully for real this time. All right, more dilly dallying. Well, let me take this on here. Oh my goodness. It, nope, it doesn't. Oh, man. Okay. So this part, if I remember correctly, is gonna suck. Yep. Who 
are these guys? <laughs> Hunters. And what do they do? Oh, you know. Just get rid of them so I can get us in. Wow, that was luck. I think it's because that skewer did a lot of damage. What? Okay. Yeah, so... <laughs> I I play... I don't think I played this on Legendary, but I've played the other Halos on Legendary. And I just... I think I... Whenever I think of... Whenever I think of those guys, I just think of, like, how hard they are to kill. Unless you're playing, like, Halo 1 and you have a handgun, you can make short work of them. Typically, but uh, I was not expecting that to go <laughs> so well. Um, but hey, I'm glad it did. Okay, so let's get into the spire then. Yeah, those hunters are. They're actually made up of these worms. That are, it's pretty cool. They're like the backstory on them. Sturdier than I expected. So it's like these like worms that work as like a hive mind, and they pick up all this armor and and, and create themselves to look like you know um, humanoidish, uh, brute type big monsters. And there's a there's actually a Halo movie called um, what was that one called? I think I have the poster somewhere. Nightfall? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm looking around my room. Um, Halo Nightfall was like uh, this cool. Uh, a little Halo movie uh, produced by Ridley Scott that was um, took took place on a, a, an already established ring from previous Halo games that exploded, and they had to go down on it even though the atmosphere was like you couldn't breathe for very long and stuff. And they run across a hunter that fell apart and became just the worms, uh, and uh, or something like that. It was like an evolution of the worms or something, and so they just moved around like a hive sliver and it was it was pretty cool i'm like oh that's a cool way to do the hunters without like you know cgiing a giant hunter i guess or doing a different take on it okay let's get to it this place is exactly yeah. what you'd expect sure is isn't it unknown find me somewhere to plug in and i'll try to find out all right going up There we go. Plug me in over there. You got it. Interesting. This structure has been activated using a protocol that's far older than anything I've ever seen. Prove it. it What's that? You can't? Oh. Here. Well, Just take your word for it. Oh! Here's Hello. Adjutant... I am adjutant resolution. Yeah, Resolution. Despondent Pyre. Kinda. Do you want to tell him? Tell me what? The monitor is gone. Gone? Yeah, they tore oh. her apart, dude. Gone? But it wasn't us. Are you sure? Yeah, of course, it wasn't us. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. I was worried you were perhaps unfriendly. <laughs> As you can see, this fire has been successfully deployed. This way... I presume you wish to see the observation platform? Uh, you assume correctly. Thank you, kind sir. Although we've never had a... a good experience with monitors or adjutants <laughs> or, or anything. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Did you say something? No? Then come. Uh, there is much to see. The, the Halo show, actually, the second season, spoiler alert, ended with the introduction of a monitor. Um, and I'm guessing possibly the hive mind soon later in season three, possibly. Uh, it's like for every interesting idea and cool thing they pull in from the game that the show does, they do a lot of things like in the details of each episode that I just don't enjoy or like or find entertaining even. Um, 
Because some of it, I'm like, oh, I don't care. You don't have to stick to the lore. If you're doing, like, your own version of everything, like, that's fine. But, man, the show just, like, in the details, the writing, like, the common sense actions of characters, you're just like, God, it's so... I don't know, it's bad. <laughs> and it's not entertaining. I'll, I'll sit there and go, oh, this fight was kind of neat or fun. Um, but then, like, they'll do a, the next four or five scenes after that. I'm just like, this is not even boring, just, like, not engaging or entertaining. Um, and I'll hate it when they take, like, characters that I'm like, oh, they, they're doing interesting things with this character or that character, and then they just stop doing them completely. Um, like, was it Kai? I was like, oh, okay, that's neat. You know, she's starting to feel emotions, and she's being very expressive with her facial expressions, and I'm like, this is a cool thing, and then and then I feel like they just drop that, you know, uh, and they they don't uh, they don't let that have a major payoff in certain ways, and you're just like, ah, I don't know. I guess I just don't feel the show that much. Oh. So yeah, this is not good. I'm glad he took us up here quickly, though. Um, because I think this is, like... If I'm not mistaken, we're going to fight here. And then we're going to lead into Pelican Down. So, oh, that's not so, bad. so that'll be great. So we're nearing the end of this episode. Well, more specifically, create the materials needed to repair it. Not going to happen. <laughs> Why? It's such a beautiful... Right, the banished. Oh, the banished. <laughs> Sorry, I was distracted for a second. There's so much to learn here. Shut it down. Permanently. Whoa. No, no. What are you doing? Look at that. This is not acceptable. You were supposed to be friendly. Yeah. I mean, we told... <laughs> I mean, we are friendly, I guess. Ow, ow. I did not bring the right weapon in here for this. Is enough. Nope. I put an end to your meddling. No, 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 I'm out of grenades, too. Awesome. Wee. Ow. Ow. Don't get cocky, Seek. Got him. Dude, I'm sorry we lied to you, but this place is dangerous. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. I have good news and bad news. Oh, good. Start with the oh, bad man. news. Okay, straight to the bad news. <laughs> A lot. I count nine. No, ten spires. Oh, jeez. All the time. Like this? Active. No, not yet at least. They appear to be waiting for an initialization sequence. Something is flooding the network trying to start it, but there's resistance. Why? 
everything. The protocol that triggered all this wasn't exactly correct. It worked. Well, it started the process. There's more bad news. I can't shut it down exactly. But I can remove it from the network. Okay. Of course, I can find the source of the attack. I just need to... Wait. Is it, Is it safe? safe? Come on. It's me. An infiltration program designed to... Whoa. Oops, I think she knows I'm... How are you doing this? Disconnect. Give me one second to get it... Now. It's done. Why don't you trust me? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> we need to go. Like now. Immediate extraction. My location. Oh, God. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, Echo. <laughs> Come on, buddy. All right. And we're off. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're going to have to catch us, please. Yeah, and that's one of the things I like story-wise with Chief to give him a little personality is the, the lack of trust he has for the weapon. And why, you know. It, it makes sense. Ah, oh, all right. Go. Go, 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 go. Get us away from here. Yeah, phew. All right. One spire down. All of them? All of them. All of them. Coordinates received. Um, it looks like someone has marked 42 new locations, which... Hey, 42. That's how old we'll be in three days. Attack. What's she talking about, Chief? Nothing. Shut up. Is everyone trying to kill you? Kind of seems like it. This was a clip they showed... Like, uh, when they were ramping up promotions on the game. And, uh, it made me like Echo immediately when he was, like, before we knew his designate and his name. Which we find his real, his full name at the end of the game. Um, but I liked him as a character. Oh, crap, yeah! So this is Pelican down the beginning. And, oh! So these three towers, that's our mission on this island. Shoot them down. And take out the twins. And that's what we'll do in the next episode. Peace.